hey good morning guys so as per our schedule we supposed to start the today power bi <clears throat> service correct yeah the next topic could be power bi service okay fine Today is fifth, is it? Anyone has any questions till now? Oh, no questions. No questions. Super. <clears throat> so the today's topic is power bi service till now we have understand if you go to top right what is a power bi and uh, what is a power bi desktop and also we have discussed about the little bit etl concepts uh, also we discussed more on the visualizations correct what is a visual sorry these are filter levels and then we understand almost like all the visualizations and relationships everything we have discussed everything we have discussed and uh, almost like a 28 visualizations we have discussed <coughs> then after we have started with edit queries it took almost three to four days of time the next topic would be power bi service the first we will discuss what is power bi service and uh, how to Yeah, yeah, sorry. How to publish Power BI reports into Power BI service. Then after, I will discuss more. First, we will see this one. So, uh, till now, if you guys have any questions, let me close it and reopen. So, this is what the visualizations we have been using for, for a, your batch particularly so 9th may 2018 is the report name right click and open <clears throat> yes the power bi desktop is comes under power bi only yes so everything i will take it don't worry so just to see the output today so this design everything each and every tab will be taken care okay so yeah guys so whatever we have discussed till now it is like you know how to install the tool and then how to visualize but what is the next step here once the report is ready you have to showcase to your senior managers right or our management people how this report can be utilized by the our management our clients our business people whatever you call it as if other persons cannot be able to use this report then it's a useless right completely so that's that's what we are going to see as a power bi service power bi service is nothing but the place where we are going to deploy the all open all our developer reports the place where we are going to keep or we are going to uh, publish it and then you know we are going to say that was i have deployed all the reports into one place you just go and access it go and access it if required let me know i will give the permission something like this for example google drive what is the use of google drive or one drive or there are lots of many uploading tools available right so we can upload something here and then if you give the access to our friends they can be able to download from anywhere right same way this is also the place where we are going to deploy our all developer reports so <clears throat> so i could say it is a sas anyone what is the full form software as a service what is the meaning of software as a service so does it mean it's like a license one it is a paid service it is a 
query service which means we should we should have license to <coughs> publish our reports into power bi service p service so the next part is you might be immediately you might be thinking uh, so what is the license cost yes or no can we say is a cloud application or no it is a i don't know how many of you know or not it is a cloud service so coming to your question if you publish successfully it will be published under the cloud environment which is completely microsoft maintained so this is maintained by microsoft company what is the meaning of microsoft company i will showcase so now if you go to the website and uh, power bi dot yeah, yeah one second just to go to the website okay so if you go to products we have been discussing about the power bi desktop and uh, i'm talking about the this pro or premium the both are related to license or even go to the bottom also there is a pricing information click on the pricing here now this is what we have been discussing last 10 to 15 days the power bi desktop is completely free no need to register whatever i have done till now whatever i have done till now is a free of cost so download this one and within a two minutes of time you can able to download within five minutes of time setup will be everything ready then go to connect to get data get the data and store it into power bi desktop then go for the visualizations that is what about the first part the second part would be share and collaborate as i told you once report is ready here how the end user might be accessing the report how the end user might be accessing the report by using the by using what power bi service coming to licensing bar there are two options available one is a power bi pro which is nothing but user level license as you could see here per user per month we need to pay almost 10 10 dollars coming to indian currency it will be around like 650 rupees 650 rupees is nothing compared to other reporting tools like tableau reporting and uh, click queue and all 650 rupees for month 10 dollars is nothing compared to other prices of the other reporting tools in the market so then what about this second option for example let's say i have a company called wipro okay i have like more than 10000 employees if i use in every employee level if i go for license they useless right for me is like uh, a waste of money so sometimes corporate level what the companies will do boss i don't want to go to the user level give me the corporate level for example i don't know how many employees i'm going to use it i may use 10 people or 100 people thousand people doesn't matter give me the company level corporate level like a domain level for example tcs.com wipro.com level license is nothing but called as a premium premium again is a depends for example they have not mentioned here for example how much space you are want how much workspace you need it for example how many reports you are going to deploy like how long you are going to use it so based on your requirement the price will get changed any questions on this part okay so keep in mind sometimes you may get a question what is the difference between pro and premium both are licensing part only but pro is like a user-based license premium is a corporate level or domain level or company level what do you call it as <coughs> The same thing you go to here pro also they given detail level information we just to go through this one start now with a free 60 day power bi pro trial so which means which means even we can create the trial user id password also trial user id password also which will get expired after 60 days but unfortunately to create the trial user id also we should have the domain ids what is the domain id for example i have a gmail id i have a yahoo mail id and i have a hotmail id so can i use my personal email id to register 
the answer is no they won't allow sorry if you have you email id for example uh taken this one like softgen.com or tcs.com so then you can then you can go for registration and you can do this one <clears throat> okay so start a free trial when i click on this try free option so here we need to enter the work email id see this one enter your work email id not personal email id not personal email id for example let me try with my personal email id it's supposed to throw error message okay and sign up <clears throat> looks like a personal email address enter your work address so that you can connect your others in the company and don't worry we don't show your i mean share your address with anyone this way. so this is what the problem so don't worry you might be having next question is bala can you please provide me the us ready password how can i practice because you guys are looking for this one right so i have one us ready password which is dedicated created for you guys only for practice purpose i will provide you but uh, i will give the limited time maybe or one week or 10 days of time you just you guys just use it and then practice it because the power bi service is hardly like four to five hours topic right this is not like uh, maybe one week is efficient for you guys to practice it or i will give max to max until your batch completes you able to understand abai anyone don't have the license and ping me personally in the whatsapp i will share the us ready password clear now so if you guys yeah. already working you have office email ids then try this option try this option you need to go to products click on the power bi pro try for free enter your email id then only <clears throat> sign up it will ask you to enter your company name your name and all normal formalities just do it and then you, you should be able to this one so find that the next question is so you guys know how to create the user id password now correct or not so we should have a user id and then uh, password so i am going to use it i am going to use it don't ask me password now i will share with you guys so this is what the user id and i will be using the first thing is we need to open the power bi desktop report so already is logged in what you can do keep on the this one i'm sorry go to file click on the sign out button <clears throat> clear now now it's showing as a sign in option which is not logged in using any of the ids the next option is so as i told you how to publish the power bi reports into power bi service so that is what we are going to see so we need to there is a simple option is available click on the publish button there is no much complexity here just click on the publish button now see we need to enter the power bi desktop and the power bi service work seamlessly when you are signed in so if you want to sign in you should have the license here that's all the tricky part here don't use your of uh, personal email address so copy paste click on the sign in option so it will ask you to enter password okay here automatically will get as a name so within this one we have like this many workspaces this many workspaces i will showcase how to create the workspaces see workspace is nothing but you are going to dedicatedly you are going to get some space or for example for example i will use this one time being power bi development reports i will showcase we need to create everything in the power bi service not from yeah. here yes in the yep not website power bi service yeah. so click on the select button here simple here yeah. you are copying the one latest movie from your friend okay you need to copy paste somewhere right the c drive e drive f drive that's what i'm doing here nothing else so just click on the success i mean there is a link also by default to take you to the uh microsoft edge browser if you don't like to go default browser you can go to the mozilla any browser you can use it google chrome or whatever it may be okay 
so <clears throat> initially what will happen we need to type this url app.powerbi.com it is not only for you not only for me anybody if whoever wants to log into power bi service this is the url app.powerbi.com unfortunately it will sign in because i already logged in let me log out let me close the browser again i'm trying now app. Powerbi.com. Now it will ask you if you okay with the current user ID, you can use it, or else have another user ID, you can enter user ID password. So click on the next button, password. So this is what user ID password would be. So we have lots of options here. For example, first and foremost thing is, first and foremost thing is, after publish, where can I see my report? What is my report name here? Can anyone tell me what is my report name? So top of this one as you can see what was the Exactly. So what are the name we had given here? This is what called as a Report name here. Okay, so same report name we could be able to find under My workspaces but But does anyone remember what is a workspace? I have deployed at least see here and tell me what is the my workspace name for be a ba dev reports right Power BA dev reports. i will showcase one second here click on the publish this is where i deployed yes or no power ba dev reports so first and foremost thing here also you need to go to the respective workspace go to workspace click on the power ba dev reports and at that now see we are into the power ba dev reports minimize the dashboard Minimize the reports, workspace, sorry, workbooks and datasets. By default, one second. Hey, sorry guys so initially that is the first thing we have to be make sure that wherever we are publishing we have to go to the respective workspace okay under that workspace by default there are four folders available there are four folders available dashboard reports workbook and data sets so First of all, don't worry about first three. Okay, concentrate only on the reports because we deployed only report only, right? First, try to understand, expand this one and check does our report is there or not. Is there? 9th May 2018. Now, when I click on the corner button, there are a couple of properties. For example, rename. If you don't like this name, you can rename it. Next one will be, if you don't like completely, you can remove it and open analyze an excel file so this is for the excel users complete model can be exported into excel file like a power pivot pivot table in the excel file okay <coughs> probably I will, I will showcase tomorrow so now click on the open button now see the same report the bottom also how many pages page one so do we have the same report here also in the page one hundred percent same 100% same for example second report here also we have the second report and Duplicate of page one here also. We have duplicate of page one. So whatever the page One page two page ten pages hundred pages doesn't matter It will deploy everything because we are deploying at the report level not in the page level So by default it will consider all the pages and has been deployed now Now you can close it. No need to open this power BA desktop anymore once we publish successfully the one copy will be stored in the cloud environment this is what called as a power bi service it is a purely saa software as a service microsoft is ready providing ready made like was use my service i will give the some space workspace how much you want you no need to create the workspace the server and all just to pay it for hourly basis or monthly basis or user basis whatever you are convenient and uh, make use of my cloud environment 
if you don't like any of the any of I mean any of you don't like the cloud environment they had come up with the second option called anyone has any idea if you go to product there is an option called power be a report server so let's say whatever showcasing right now it is a completely cloud right which is we don't know where it has been hosted for example let's take an example some customers they don't want to they don't want to give their data into other third persons for example even though it's a cloud even though it's a secure even though we have end-to-end -end agreement some people little bit fear will be there because why should i keep my data into your database your server can i have my data in my my own server the answer is yes that's where the power bi report server will come into picture so this what it will does on premise reporting with power bi report server what is the meaning of on premise anyone our one place right on premise is nothing but within my home within my property within my place my compound on premise is nothing but i have my own dedicated server can you guys come and install and host every report in my server itself so that i can i can you know uh, hide to developers where they can maintain the my own reports the answer is yes that is called as a power bi report server okay this part we will discuss later but as of now the trend is like you know power bi service everyone using power bi service because these are like ready-made features we no need to take a risk this and all everything button will be on ours only we need to install it first we need to configure it we need to publish it whatever the changes whatever you want everything will be ourselves we need to take in care anyhow microsoft will be given the support i agree but again it's a paid service okay so but this one power bi service they have workspaces they have shared with me they have apps is there some all the de like default features are there we can go to for example view i want to modify something and then what you can do we can edit also edit report is there so anyone has sorry organization this means I understand the question. Same thing in the sense. See, our work is like there is no concept called a separate developer for the service, separate person for the development. End to end, you have to do it. Power BI service, you need to develop it. We need to deploy it. But here, there are certain advanced concepts. Certain advanced concept that one you may not be able to access. For example, let's say security. Security, we can have it. There are some certain admin level portals will be there and manage gateways and settings and all so you may not be able to use it for example apps also available okay so if you try to get the apps or create the apps it will throw error message because this is admin level portal right some 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 persons maintain dedicated team for the admin see each and every company there might be having the admin team correct so for example even though company has given the laptop we are not be supposed to install anything on our laptops why there are restrictions same way same way this is also completely cloud right this is a service right so they're paying to microsoft and buying something they can't give complete rights to every user so what we need it as a developer we should know how to develop it that is desktop is there we should know how to publish it that we can publish it and we can go for the dashboard okay but again it depends if we have a startup company they can't maintain a def, def separate team for the admin team right because they need to pay for it again so, so startup company what they will do everything you have to do it we have complete administrative privileges like giving the security and creating the apps everything we have to do it we have access does it answer your question today yes. sir the answer is very simple sir you have to learn as much as possible if you want to get a job as soon as possible yeah for example my case i don't have access for these apps also if i log in my office already right now i will showcase i don't have access i need to raise a request boss i'm trying to create the app can you please take care on this or else i need to make it like uh, 10 to 15 lines of line this is what the name this is what the reports i'm going to make it as an app so could you please could you please give me the permit uh, so but this idea i have this is for as i told you right this is i got it only for training purpose so i will showcase each and everything okay so if you part of admin as well then you have completely so coming to your question so if you're going for the four years experience or five years experience 
we should learn everything admin part is the very heart of the power bi admin and see uh, what are the first part first part anybody can learn it uh, nothing is there. get the data visualize a bar chart pie chart line chart something and all but this one even some people most of the people will not practice also without use ready password and the dax one will be next is the advanced concepts so these two is very very important dax and power bi service the power bi service is the i could say heart of the <clears throat> power bi power bi service because this is without power bi service we can't share anything with the customer even though you develop 100 reports it's useless okay yeah we'll discuss offline don't worry so so the next one is as part of today we understand how to publish the reports into the power bi service as a first attempt as i told you we have four folders correct or not so we understand report report is nothing as soon as we deployed or published the report it will come and sit here so go to the our workspace so this is what the the folder name called as a report under report there are five reports available one the first one is our report now now what about uh, what is this one workbooks you don't have any workbooks because we don't have any excel workbooks at the moment and what about the data sets see this one here also we have a 9th may and here also in the report also we have a 9th may what is the meaning of this one see if you guys from any of the reporting background okay whenever you want to design any of the report for example simple table report this is might be getting data from somewhere correct maybe a sql data or maybe your uh, excel file what out maybe so this is called as a whenever saving the report we need to go some name <clears throat> that name is nothing but this one <coughs> but obviously when we connect it to data source uh, data set uh, data set is nothing but the query which we are using to design our report the query which we are using to design our report so that is what called as a data set name by default by default report name will be considered as a data set name by default report name will be considered as a data set name so let it open so this is what data set data set is nothing but what are the tables we are using within my report these all report will be using these are the tables maybe we are using for this this visual maybe one or two table maybe some other visual might be using some other tables so overall data set is nothing but this is what the, the fields the fields is nothing but the table maybe this is from excel file or sql server table or we created within the power bi desktop itself doesn't matter data set is nothing but query as simple okay so that is what about this one so workbooks we don't have it at the moment ignore it the most important next topic would be dashboards before going to dashboard as i told you if you go to any of the reports okay the open is fine rename and remove and analyze in excel file this is i will showcase tomorrow because it will open the same model in the excel file nothing else and if you go to detail level data set properties here also we have lots of properties we need to understand rename and remove is simple and schedule refresh refresh now analyze an excel file and download pbx for download is nothing but for example unfortunately you lost this pbx file let's say if i unfortunately deleted from here so but you have successfully published into the power base service from here also you can get it back for example download it so just click on download if nothing will ask you it will simply it will go for the download option your report is exporting to PBIX. What is the meaning of PBIX? Power BI desktop document. If you want to showcase, you go here and expand this one. See this one? PBIX full form is Power BI desktop document. So it is trying to create the same. See? One more file has been downloaded. It's like a vice versa. Either you can publish from desktop to service or you can download from the service to. Power BI desktop also. 
I mean, uh, as is the first day, I'm just trying to cover the basic concepts. The important ones will cover from tomorrow. Okay. And the security manage permissions is all about, for example, this is my report. What I was showing is my reports. How can I share with other persons? So doesn't mean that if you're creating everyone have the access, right? I can give it to 10 people or 20 people. Everything will come under security concepts. <clears throat> Once giving the permission also we can have like restrictions. For example, let me click on the security here. It's showing as a RLS has moved to Power BI desktop. The full form is a row level security. Row level security we need to create within the Power BI desktop here. Uh, go to modeling. There is an option called manage roles. Here we need to create it. Here we need to create it. Two roles, then only it will be applicable. Then only it will be applicable. Don't worry, we will discuss detail session will be there. Just I'm giving a heads up like what are the features we have it here. Now, for example, the next topic would be like uh, as of today, I have data for only six countries. Okay, so tomorrow assume that I'm expanding my business into India also. So here we'll be getting some numbers here, correct or not? So here there is a simple option. The Power BI desktop, if you simply click on the refresh button, it will get the latest data. Okay. But let's cancel it. But here we need to do some certain configurations. For example, I click on this one. There is a refresh now also here. Okay, so this is the problem. Refresh fell due to the gateway configuration issues. So tell me one thing. Guys, again repeating, today I'm just going theoretically, more theoretically. Okay. And tomorrow we'll discuss practically. So now tell me one thing here. Refresh fell due to gateway configuration. To understand this one, to understand this one in the better way, tell me how many of you know the mobile SIM cards? For example, I'm buying Atel. Sorry. Okay. So once we buy the Atel SIM card, immediately it will work or not? No. Why? It will take to time to activate. Good. So for example, first thing is we need to activate it. Okay. So now, after activation, suddenly like uh, signal problem. Suddenly, signal problem. Signal problem. Uh, network error. What is the what is the meaning of this one? That means that means even though even though we have a SIM card proper SIM card activation, we should have we should have sorry like uh, net what we call that one towers cell phone towers yes or no. So we should have a cell phone towers. Please place it. Okay. Just be, be seated. I will talk to you. Okay. So now listen carefully. So now assume that here one guy will be having the with a mobile number. He wants to make a call to the one more person here. <clears throat> okay. And how these two people are interacting <clears throat> with the help of what they're talking each other. How the calls are going here <clears throat> through through network only there might be big big towers will be there. Yes or no. If you go to the maybe or each and every area there might be planted the cell phone towers without this tower. Is it possible to make a connection between both of them? Whatever calling it will go to the Cell phone tower, the signal will be passed to the respective person. Will you agree or not? Same way here also, what I'm trying to do. My report, my report, if you go to the recent sources, it might be finding Excel file. This Excel file available under my local mission. Will you agree or not? If you come here, I don't know where the folder is. See this one? This employee file available in my local system, but I'm trying to refresh from where? Refresh from where? It's a Power BI service. Power BI service, service is nothing but the cloud mission, right? Where the cloud has been hosted. Yeah, when you no need to upload, we need to make a connection. We need to make a connection. You got you got the point, right? 
even though we bought a new sim card what we need to do make sure that you properly align to the cell phone towers that means activation everything there should be some configurations same thing here also even though report is working in the power bi desktop because power bi desktop and file both are available in my local laptop only i'm repeating once again this power bi desktop also i have installed within my lap local laptop and what are the file i'm showing the source files or what are the source for example for example sql server also sql db also is available if you want i will showcase see now sql server also i have installed within the same laptop same server i don't have any issues when i go for the refresh everything configured but once move the report into power bi service this is hosted within the cloud environment from the cloud what i'm trying to do i'm trying to refresh which means what is the meaning of this one i am trying to connect to my local laptop how it will connect it so it will connect but we need to do some settings that settings is nothing but gateways so this also like we need to we need to install the cell phone towers right each and every area if you want to get the proper signal we need to plan the cell phone towers so here also we need to install the gateway that is what the first concept so if you go here so what we need to do we need to create the manage gateways available and we need to click on the manage gateways if you have the gateway installed already okay to showcase like this if you're doing first time now what you need to go to the download option data gateway there is an option here here also it will take you to the link one more link power bi desktop also see so, you now it's automatically download 64 bit so they given some uh, links here for example power bi mobile app analyze an excel file gateway so this gateway we need to install it this gateway we need to install it <clears throat> so then only then only we could be able to right click here and refresh now now what about schedule refresh for example this excel file will be keep on changing this excel file will be daily 100 people are adding or maybe daily 10 people are joining the company how the automatically data will be coming into the power bi service one thing is each and every day you need to come and refresh that is a manual work or else what you can do you can automate it by schedule refresh okay so any questions Bharat? okay fine so the next one would be instead of going for the detail level data set we will finish this one like uh, there is an option called report we'll go one by one first we'll target the report folder like we, which is very simple properties when i click on the open button <clears throat> now let's say i given this report to the customer let's say i given this report to the customer let's say customer asking boss uh, both are showing the same value only this is also each country wise this is also each country wise information only can you please remove this one i don't like this one that means after publishing given access to customer they come up with some changes then what you can do there are two things for you you can go to the power bi desktop open the same page here also and select this one and remove it and then republish it that is one option now for example i don't like to go to the power bi desktop assume that it's a waste of time right again i'm opening the power bi desktop assume that i have not installed power bi desktop at all or i have been uh, i mean somebody else developed this one i don't want to go to the power bi desktop due to some reason then here itself there is an option clear edit report so whatever you want just click on this one and simply remove it and remove it and this one you can adjust how much width you want little bit okay and this numbers also showing as a complete number so what i will do i will go to format option here data labels might be there so i will make it as a thousand cn now it looks better 
or even you can make it as a automatic automatic will take it care based on the value it will go to million or thousand or something automatic this looks better right 9.4 million okay everybody know that 1 million is nothing but 10 lakh something like this so now there is an option called save here that is, is see here save this report report save successfully just to go to some other report and i can come back to our report 9th may see now it's permanently saved here and if you go back to next page and come to first page also is done so the coming to the question like uh, how can we modify the existing or already published report means there are many ways the one of the method is go to edit report the second option is as i told you go to the data set first download the file because you may be uh, say bala already we have the file why should i download one more time can anyone tell me why we should i download once again now let me open you will see the difference now here i made some changes now correct or not and but if you go and see the power bi desktop still it is having the old changes only i think we need to go to the page number one still it has the old changes only now you will get confused which one is the latest one see if you develop i agree you will be having understanding okay we only change this one this is what the, whatever the available in the power bi service is the latest, latest one now assume that somebody else developed this one uh, he went for the leave but in between there is some urgent requirement came somebody else modified within the power bi service itself but what are the copy you have it will be old copy right for example again you are doing changes in the power bi old copy again deploying the existing change will be gone so always the good practice doesn't matter download the first local copy i mean latest copy download it and open that copy and then do the changes i can publish back so that we are making sure that what are the last time we changes from there we are continuing the changes from there we are continuing the changes but you are 100 percent conference no changes you have the already copy then you can go ahead your wish okay so that is what about the simple option edit report option now here already we have seen like uh, if you go to view option this is all a normal formatting here for example fit to page okay go to edit mode you will understand now go to the fit to page fit to width like uh, actual size see this one is bigger size will coming if you want to minimize this also you can minimize it uh, actual size is like a very zoom option right like fit to width means based on the width it will adjust automatically fit to the page means the left side as you can see here there are certain uh, gray bars are coming right spaces coming right it will go on when you go for the that width also will be adjusted when you go for the fit to width see now now still the original size actual size the time of development whatever the size font you had given it will be considered this one okay so show grid snap to grid and all so these are properties all we have discussed under here there is a view option here couple of properties already we have discussed so same feature also they're trying to integrate here okay so the one property i'm sorry go to the file here go to the file the save you guys know already and save as for example my report name is 9th may i want to make a one more copy so click on the save as and uh, 9th may like backup for example you want to make some changes so why should i change the original report first make a backup first make a backup where is the report see this one now you just do the changes here then give the both the copies to customer boss this is what the original requirement i mean original report after changes this is what the report looks like if you happy with the both of them i mean new report then i will delete the old report you getting my point or not instead of overwriting the original report by making the changes make a copy and then do the changes here then give the explain both to the customer whatever he feels comfortable then we can keep it there rest i can what i can do i can simply remove it that is what about the save as and go to report it's taking time hmm. 
okay the file save as and then print option print option here this is normal whenever you want to take a print it will go to the print it's loading the preview you can adjust it what are the how many pages want these are like a normal landscape or portlet so just click on the cancel button so anyone has any questions till now One second. Okay. So the next property would be like if you go to file, save as is the print is there, embedded in the SharePoint downline. If you guys using already SharePoint, SharePoint, I don't know how many of you know it or not. That is a you know online portal where we can upload and download the files with the customer with the help of you know. Uh, use ready password there also you can use office email address, but unfortunately I can't showcase here This one will be the export to power powerpoint ppt So you want to export to powerpoint ppt then you can able to export more than 15 pages Your report needs the maximum number of pages. We currently support Please reduce the number of pages. I think it will support uh, less than 15 pages So we have like more pages right three four something like this So let me take any simple report this has only two pages go to file and ppt okay Still we have some little bit confusion with uh, this one like uh, Formatting and all that's okay, but at least you can get into the Like a high level report. Okay. Yeah, since we have only two pages. It's exported Enable editing. I mean whenever you want to showcase like you want to present some PPT presentation What is your report about then you can go ahead and implement this one? Okay so that is what about the this features so anyhow so if you take the another topic it will take time so tomorrow okay tomorrow t o m m or one w s the first one is we need to install install gateway and then configurations and then <clears throat> refresh refresh now and then schedule refresh okay if time permit then we can continue with the other topics also maybe your sharing option security what out maybe so this is what the tomorrow's topic and I'm stopping here if you guys have any questions you can ask me or you can draw for now